This is the final part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. In this part, I will show you how to view Forte's specially resolved flow field results. Before running a Forte simulation, you can adjust the frequency of the specially resolved output on the specially resolved panel under Output Controls. While you are on the Run Simulation panel, you will see two buttons on the top, Launch Insight and Launch CFD Post. Both are ANSYS software and can be used to post-process Forte's CFD results. In this video, I'm going to use Insight as an example. Click the Launch Insight button. Choose Nominal.FTIND and Insight will be automatically launched. Alternatively, you can also load Forte results into Insight starting from a new Insight session. Click File, click Open, and navigate to the working directory of the Forte Simulate project. Change the reading format to Forte and set the index file as nominal.ftind. Load all parts. After the data loading is complete, you can see the simulation domain displayed in the main window. On the left, you can see all the parts of the simulation domain loaded. These include all the geometric surfaces, volume mesh generated in Forte, named volume cells, and spray particles. You can toggle on off each part by clicking the visibility button. On the time panel, a number of solutions are arranged in incremental of time or crank angle. Click edit time settings. Display time annotation. The current simulation time is displayed in the main window. In the edit annotation panel, Click on the simulation time field and set it as constant variable crank angle. Let us choose minus 20 crank angle degrees, which is after the start of fuel injection and before piston reaching top dead center. What if I want to create a cut plane right in the middle of the sector simulation domain and look at the effects of fuel injection. Click the volume cells and click the clips button. Choose plane from the tool list and you will see a plane indicator in the main window, but it is not at my wanted location. Click the tour location settings and open the tour location editor. Set the origin of the plane and rotate it around the x-axis by 90 degrees. Now the plane cuts right into the middle of the simulation domain. And on the clip panel, create with selected parts. After the clip plane is made, you can color it with a solution variable. For example, let us choose fuel vapor mass fraction. You can see the effects of fuel injection and evaporation by the distribution of fuel vapor in the space. Edit palette, change the contour level settings. If you like to view the mesh size, click overlay hidden lines. You can see that the mesh size in the spray plume is refined to a quarter of the base mesh size because of the solution adaptive meshing based on fuel mass fraction. The mesh size near the walls is refined to half of the base mesh size because of the surface depth refinement. Now, what if I want to view the spray results? Select Spray and click the Node Representation button. Here you can change the spray particles from dot to sphere and assign a proper size to it. Color the particles by a spray variable, for example, spray particle radius.
From the solutions defined on volume cells, create an ISO surface or ISO volume based on any solution variables. For example, I am creating an ISO surface of temperature at 1500 Kelvin. As I navigate the solution to minus 9 crank angle degrees, the temperature ISO surface shows up, meaning that combustion started about this time. Since I have sufficient solutions output from Forte, I can make an animation to see how the flow field evolves in time. Go to File, select Export Animation and choose a proper location and name for the animation file. To summarize, I showed how to use Ensight to view the CFD results from Forte. You can use clip planes and ISO surfaces to gain more insight into any solution variables in the flow field. This concludes the demonstration to use ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. Thanks for watching.